hello and welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial series so in this particular tutorial we are going to take a look at basic text formatting so that is making a text bold uh, underlining it italicize and then also to take a look at how to make a text to become left aligned right aligned or center aligned so without wasting my time let's see how to do this so let's begin by trying to make any text become bold okay so to do this in LaTeX, all you need to do is to give the command text bf. So it's popping up. You can press enter. So anything we put into the text bf curly brace is going to be a, is going to be bold. Okay. So let's see. Let's just type uh, this is going to be bold. Okay. So let's leave that and then let's see how to make a text italicized okay so that one is given by the command text it okay so text it so anything we type here is going to become italicized so let's type something this text okay so let's say this sentence man, is going to become italicized okay so the next thing to look at is how to underline any text so to do that we use the command underline okay so anything we type in today's calibrates is also going to become underlined so let's type something this this whole sentence oh man can spell today sentence is going to be underlined all right so let's compile our program and then see what we get so when i compile this then let's zoom in to see what we are having so you can see i'm having this is going to be bold so that's for the text bf so that's the bold font and then this sentence is going to be italicized so from right here this sentence is going to be italicized we are having this whole sentence is going to be underlined so this is how easy it is to do all of this now let's look at left alignment right alignment and then center alignment so to do this we'll have to use a command we'll say begin and then we'll put flash left okay so when you press enter you can see you are having to you are having begin and then an end so anything you type in this environment is going to become left aligned so let's type something this text okay let's say this sentence is going to be left aligned okay so let's just repeat it for some time so you can see the impact just going to copy that and then paste it several times okay and then let's look at the right alignment we have that we can also use the command begin and then we type flash okay so as you guess is flash right so i can type anything like this sentence is going to be right aligned so i'm also going to copy that and then do it several times so control v control v control v and then let's do that for center alignment so we have begin and then center so it's just center so anything we type in this environment is also going to become center aligned so let's type something this sentence is going to is going to become center aligned 
okay so let's also copy that and then repeat it several times as i just don't have anything to type now so let's compile this and then see the effect of the flash right flash left and then the center so when i compile this All right, so let's look at the first one we have this sentence is going to be left aligned so from here you can see the flash left the effect of the flash left you can see from right here that the text is left aligned and then from the flash right we can also see that the text is right aligned and then the center so this is the center alignment which is the last one so that's how easy it is to do this kind of alignment in LaTeX now i want to introduce you to paragraphs but we'll talk more on that in the next tutorial in the next tutorial we'll talk about paragraphs and then formatting paragraphs in detail but for this tutorial let's quickly take a look at paragraphs so i'm going to copy just this and i'm going to just paste it several times okay and then let me just compile it and see what i'm getting okay so this is what i'm getting and then you can see this is justified so what if i want a paragraph so if i just want a paragraph in latex it's so easy you just press the enter button twice so that leaves a blank line and then from here you can paste something else so let's just paste something else so this is just how to define a paragraph in latex so let's compile it and see what you get okay so you can see from here that we have an indentation or an indent so from right here it declares or tells us that we have another paragraph right so that's how easy it is to declare a paragraph but if you do not want to use the enter twice there is also a command to also do the same thing so i actually do not have to use the enter i can just do backslash and par so par and that's going to give me a paragraph so let's compile that and see what you get and you can see the effect is the same okay so this concludes the video for this chapter i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider subscribing and then liking the videos as well don't forget to share with your friends and then also leave your comments in the comment section thank you for watching